Hello Anonymous and welcome to our additional fourth tutorial unit. This unit will contain a short summary of information on encoding and an overview on the most used codecs on the web. There are many reasons why this is sometimes necessary, most commonly because your editing tool does not support the video file you want to edit or you have to reduce your file in size to upload it in a reasonable time frame to the tubes. First, we will teach you how to know and recognize the different containers, codecs and aspect ratios. Then we will introduce you to the available tools and show you how to successfully encode video files for your needs. First, we will look at the major container types or file formats. MPG There are two versions, MPG1 and MPG2. It is a standardized format. It uses a medium file size and possesses a good compression, which delivers a good quality. Naturally, MPG2 delivers a better quality than MPG1. MP4 is also a standardized file format, but delivers a much smaller file size. It also possesses a very good compression and delivers in very good quality. Newer video camera models use this format mostly by default. Only backside of this format is that it requires a lot of CPU power to decode the video and play it. RV is a Microsoft developed format and is big in its file size, which is a result from the low compression. The quality it delivers ranges from OK to good. It is a format sometimes used by older video cameras. MOV Here we have a format developed by Apple. It is similar to MP4 and can hold MPEG4 encoded information. It is used in the semi-professional field. WMV is another format developed by Microsoft and also has similarities to MP4 but only proprietary. Due to the very good compression, the quality is good while the file size is small. FLV Developed by Adobe, this format requires the Flash Player. Nonetheless, it has a good compression, small file size and has a good quality for Flash animations. For regular film material, the quality ranges from low to OK. RM is a proprietary format developed by Real Networks. It is not a very common format anymore but the latest version holds similarities to the MP4 format. We shall continue with the most used codecs, but before you might get confused, let me explain to you the difference between file formats and codecs. The file format is the container of the video. It gives the data a certain structure, which the computer can read. The codecs are what encodes the data in a specific way. A computer might be able to read the file format, but might not understand the codec. In such cases, the missing codec would have to be installed. In video editing tools, however, this won't do the trick. We shall show you how to fix that problem later on. When using codecs, go for standards. Use an MP4 implementing codec, which are the most commonly used ones on the web, because the files produced are small and feature a high quality. The only important thing you need to know is, when converting, you must keep the aspect ratio of the original footage in mind. If formatting a 4 to 3 video into a 16 to 9 format, the objects on screen grow wider. The other way around, things grow slimmer. Another encoding problem you might come across is when the material is interlaced. This means that 
to have lower bandwidth, an image is split in two, as shown here. One half image after another is shown. Because this happens so fast, the human eye cannot perceive it and sees fluent movement. However, when working with interlaced material, you will receive stripy artifacts when trying to slow it down. The same thing can happen when fast forwarding it. When encoding, choose progressive instead of interlaced. This way the images won't be split and you will receive a more fluent video to work with. Only problem is that the file size will increase. Now that you know this, you are ready to get your hands on the tools. There are two freeware tools available, Media Coder and Super. Although Media Coder may encode faster than Super by using the CUDA interface of NVIDIA graphic cards, it is less intuitive, offers less encoding options and wrong settings often cause it to fail. We will use Super in this tutorial. Download Super at www.eritesoft.com slash super and install it. In our example we will change the container and or the codec of the video. First drag a file into Super. Choose an output container and a codec you want to transcode to. Now check the properties of the video you want to transcode. Right click on the file and choose properties. Check its resolution, frame rate and aspect ratio. Now choose these values in Super. Click Encode Active Files to start the coding process. Always encode in the same resolution and frame rate as your source file to avoid video transcoding artifacts. When you choose a lower resolution, your image will be blurry when viewed in full screen. Higher resolution will also make it blurry and add noise to your image. Wrong frame rates will result in missing frames or wrong speed. The wrong aspect ratio will horribly deform your image. Sometimes it might be appropriate to do otherwise and to change resolution and aspect ratio. Reasons may be that your file is too big in the current resolution to upload it or you have files from different sources that you want to transcode to the same resolution and aspect ratio to bring them together in your video project. Think about the following. If you change resolution, do it according to the aspect ratio from a standard resolution. If you change the aspect ratio, your material will be cut to size or a letterbox will appear. If you changed both, remember that people in footage converted from 4 to 3 to 16 to 9 will look small and fat and long and thin the other way around. Finally, as anonymous, you might be working in a team of people from different countries with different operating systems and tools. It is crucial for the success of your mission that you use independent standards as much as possible. WMV files might not be editable or even play on Linux or Mac based systems. Apple standards might not be applicable outside the Mac world. Using MP4 as your container and MPEG4 as codec is a good choice from this point of view. It is the most common codec on the web at the moment and besides its highly compressed files and good image quality, it is supported by most of the editing environments. We are now ready to commence the distribution of your file properly.